Three, two, one. This is Martin Giles and I'm now with the council leader, Joss Bigmore. The full council meeting which Daniel Hill wished to attend has been completed. Councillor Bigmore, why did you stop Daniel Hill attending this meeting, which are normally open to the public? Yes, um, Martin, there's a, a common law provision that allows us to restrict access to any member of the public that we think might disrupt or, or interfere with the orderly running of a meeting. And unfortunately, um, Mr Hill's behaviour uh, recently and in the past leads us to believe there was a fair chance that he would disrupt this meeting. Um, and that's because of his behaviour in a previous so, council meeting? So uh, he's been arrested at polling station, uh, he's caused disturbance uh, to our enforcement officers at Stony Castle, he has disrupted a previous council meeting um, that caused it to be adjourned, uh, he has staged a sit-in that caused the council officers to be closed for a number of hours claiming he had a, a test tube of toxic liquid which obviously caused an enormous amount of distress and shut the council for any residents that might have the council offices for residents that might have needed and recently he's been inundating officers and some councillors with endless emails that is causing quite a lot of mental distress. Did he manage to lodge his question that you wanted Yes, to... he lodged a question we allowed him to answer a question in writing which I answered. We then allowed him to answer an ask a supplementary question which we also asked him so his democratic right to ask a question was 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 exercised and we answered his question and the supplementary thank you very much thank you